So we are having an issue with our D-Bot. The battery will not charge. I've checked these contacts with a meter and they are putting out voltage. So it's not the charger, not the outlet. We think it's the battery. So here's what it does when we try to charge it. And that light stays red. The beeps eventually stop. All right, so after a little bit of messing around on YouTube and trying all the stuff that's in the book, which is not helpful, this says the battery is completely discharged, which I think is the problem we had. So what this tells you to do <clears throat> is to reactivate the battery. You're supposed to put it on the charging dock. Just pick it up and put it on the charging dock for three minutes. Then take it off, then put it back on for three minutes and do that three times. That's what you're supposed to do. But we did that, actually did that process twice and it made no difference at all. So I kept looking on YouTube and Ashrar Ahmed, that's the best pronunciation I can do on that. Uh, felt looks like uh, he was in India somewhere or at least from India. He said to remove the battery. So you've got the contacts there. Those actually make contact with the machine right there. So we got kind of lucky and that was the first video that I saw, but what he mentioned to do was to reach in here and pull these prongs up a little bit. After the constant pressure of those contacts being on that being on those, these are solid contacts and these are like flexible contacts. So this thing's depressed on here continually. If you don't have a problem with the battery, you're never taking it out. In fact, you shouldn't really take it out. It's supposed to stay in there. I had trouble finding a replacement battery on Amazon anyway. Uh, you may be able to get one from uh, Ecovax, the company that makes this thing. By the way, this is the D-Bot M80. This one is the Mop vacuum combo so anyway we pulled these up and I've already done it but I'm just kind of trying to demonstrate you just flex these up a little bit you don't 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 bend them all the way out because if you break one of these you're hosed the machine's not going to work anymore so I just kind of flexed them a little bit and put it back on the charger and miraculously started working so like I said, I was looking for a battery to buy. Uh, and I don't know how much they are because I never found a battery to buy. But it could have been 150 bucks or something. I, I really don't know how much it is. Probably, probably at least $40. And uh, so then we found a solution that we didn't have to do that for. We didn't have to, we didn't have to spend that money. So, and it was really quick. So I'm going to show you now what we have, and it should be charged, but we'll see what it does anyways. So the joke's going to be on me if it now suddenly doesn't work again, because it charged all afternoon finally. Now I'm going to put the video into play and it's going to not work. But it looks like it's doing okay. And you see ours is worn out. And it's it's only like a year and three months old. 
So it's kind of scratched up from going under coffee tables and stuff. But it's it's not like five years old like it might appear. It, it's about a year and a half uh, and had this issue. So maybe you can try that and avoid having to buy a brand new battery. Hope it works for you. Let me know. See you guys later. So I should point out that Asrar Ahmad's video gave the method that I just showed as a solution for no power on the D-Bot, not a solution for the battery won't charge. So I just kind of tried that and it worked. So if you have no power, that might also solve the problem. I don't know, I've, I've never had that problem. So, um, but you can find his video, he, it's A-S-R-A-R, -R, and then the second, his, looks like his last name, A-H-M-E-D. So you can find his video and check it out. It, it's really short. Um, but, uh, it, it, it gave me all I needed. So thanks to him. Uh, and like I said, that was for a no power issue. My issue was the battery won't charge. So I had a light, I had a, con a connection, but just not enough connections, I think on those contacts to make it work. So there you go. Thanks for watching guys.